Hello everyone, and thank you for joining the demonstration for installing and configuring the Pure Storage Management Pack for VMware VRealize Operations Manager, also known as VROPS. To begin, we will log in to VROPS with an administrative account, and then navigate to the Administration section. From there, we can select Repository, and then scroll down to the other Management Packs, and select Add slash Upgrade. From there, we can browse to the management pack which was downloaded from the VMware Solutions Exchange website or the GitHub repository and select Upload. This will take several minutes to complete within your environment, however we will fast forward here. Once the pack has been uploaded and verified, the end user license agreement can be accepted and then the management pack installation can complete. Again, this does take several minutes but we'll fast forward and select finish. Once the management pack has been installed, you will see that it is now listed under the other management packs section, along with the version that you have installed. At this point, you can now add a flash array. You can go to other accounts, select add account, and then pure storage adapter. From here, you will input all of the required information for your pure storage flash array. One thing to note is that the credentials can be used for multiple flash arrays. You can do this by selecting the plus sign and then adding the credentials. In my case, I will simply input pure user. Obviously, you can use whichever user you have defined within your own environment. From there, you can select the collector or group, test the connection, and accept the certificate. At this point, the flash array can now be added. There are several advanced settings, however, we do recommend that they stay at their default values of true. After the flash ray has been added, you will note that there is a warning. This is expected and will remain that way for approximately 5 to 10 minutes, at which point the status should switch to OK. Now we can navigate to the Environment section, select Peer Storage Flash Array, and go to Flash Array Resources. We can then expand our Peer Storage world. And here we see our flash ray that we have just added. Underneath the flash ray will be all of the objects associated with this flash ray and any of the other vCenter servers you have added within this environment. Here we can see there are protection groups, remote protection groups, and the target flash ray. Additionally, we have the host objects as defined on the flash ray, the host groups, and the volumes. If we expand the volumes, you can see snapshots associated with that volume as well as the data store which it backs. Here we can see that is SN1M20EO528PROD. If we expand that data store, we can now see all of the virtual machines that are running on that data store. And that's it. At this point, you have successfully configured a pure storage flash ray within your VROPS environment. From here, you can add additional flash arrays following the same process that was outlined previously. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.